Four shot at party south of Yorkville, Kendall County Sheriff's Office seeking suspect. This was written by John Etheridge, published on September 3rd, 2022. A 21-year-old man is being treated for serious injuries at an area hospital after being shot at a party in the 8400 block of Emanuel Road in unincorporated Kendall Township, south of Yorkville, early Saturday morning, according to the Kendall County Sheriff's Office. In a statement, the Sheriff's Office said three women, two aged 22 and the other 18, were also shot in the incident and were treated and released from the area. So four people, the majority of them being women, shot after a party after a party because in the u.s when we have gatherings when we're supposed to have fun there is always the threat of violence and this is normal because having guns in america is an absolute necessity it's an absolute necessity for americans this is all sarcasm it's not the gun does not make us safer we need to abolish the second amendment the sheriff's office said they were seeking a suspect in the shooting who they describe as a hispanic male in his early 20s about 5 10 tall with a thin build and a goatee the suspect was reported to be wearing a white shirt at the time of the shooting sheriff's deputies were summoned to emmanuel road about one mile west of route 47 at 1 36 a.m on a report of shots being fired at a party at this time it appears the suspect opened fire with the handgun following a dispute between the attendees at the party the sheriff's office said first and foremost i don't make these videos to demonize any specific group whether the shooter or victims were white black hispanic asian whatever we are all americans and too many americans perpetuate gun violence and are victims of gun violence it's not just one group of people doing it it's all groups of people in the united states who are doing it majority of them are male but regardless i did cover a mass shooting who was a woman it does not matter if it's a man a woman black white person doing it what only matters is that were these americans being killed were these americans doing the shooting and how can we stop this from happening and for anybody who wants to come into the comments also and say this person got his gun illegally this person didn't kill that many people uh number one all illegal guns come from legal sources guns don't just fall from the sky somebody once had to purchase this gun legally for it then to flood into the black market and the underworld secondly uh just because people did not die does not mean that they will not die later if they will not need therapy if they will not need physiological or psychological help for the rest of their life if they'll become paralyzed if they'll have crippling medical bills because we do not guarantee health care in the united states for its citizens and handguns are just as deadly as the automatic rifles that people use when they commit the heinous atrocities that get mass media coverage because this was done with a handgun and not many people were killed and to many americans this is not a mass shooting even though four or more people are shot which is a tragedy in itself handguns do just as much violence in the united states as the assault weapons that uh, many people quote the ar-15 and ak-47 and all the other stuff dracos uzis etc i'll continue the sheriff's office said they have developed several leads in their investigation and they are being pursued based on the information they have gathered so far the sheriff's office said they do not believe the shooting to be a random act the sheriff's office is asking anyone with information about the incident to contact them at this number or email the sheriff's office at this number the following other agencies are assisting the sheriff's office in the investigation kendall county major crimes task force oswego police department yorkville police department plano police department montgomery police department the minuka police department the kendall county and criminal investigation team the kane county sheriff's office and the bristol kendall fire department listing all of these agencies probably was put here to try to make the article uh, or make the city seem like they're actually doing something about crime, which they should. All the agencies that are about, that are there to enforce the laws and protect the public should be working on this. But how much tax dollars, how much money is wasted every year trying to prepare for, prevent mass shootings or any sort of gun crime in the U.S.? In other countries, they don't have to spend millions and millions of dollars on police uh, having all sorts of weapons and tactical gear and, and body armor that um, United States police do. You can compare us to El Salvador or Honduras or Guatemala where there's rampant gun violence or Mexico where the traffickers are pretty much running the country. But is the United States a third world country? How much tax money do we spend on these police departments? I'm not saying defund the police. That's not the point of this argument. What I'm saying is we spend way too much money on solving gun crimes, trying to prevent gun crimes, 
in responding to gun crimes in the U.S. when it doesn't have to happen at all. The Kendall County Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting that occurred early this morning at a party in the 8400 block of Emanuel Road in unincorporated Yorkville. The Sheriff's Office received a 911 call for reports of shots being fired at a party at approximately 1.36 a.m. Upon r arriving in the area, deputies located several individuals suffering from gunshot wounds. A 21-year-old man was taken to an area hospital with serious injuries and a currently and currently receiving ongoing medical treatment. Two 20-year-old women and an 18-year-old woman were also treated at an area hospital for non-life-threatening injuries and have since been released. So this article is just repeating. Maybe this is uh, this that I, what I read first was the update. So uh, once again, senseless gun violence is robbing young people of their futures or, com or causing them to go through tragedies that are unnecessary. This doesn't happen. This doesn't happen in Canada. This doesn't happen in France or in other uh, first world nations at the frequency that they do in America. And it doesn't have to happen. We can do something about it. Wake up the gun manufacturers and the NRA and the right wing reactionaries and even some left wing Democrats and stuff like that have been perpetuating this myth that the Second Amendment makes us freer and safer. It doesn't. Let's make America truly a safe nation. Abolish the Second Amendment. My name is Simon Hill. Thank you for watching. Peace.